I saw this on over on Lions Wire. There's some head coaching buzz around the NFL for Lions first year offensive coordinator Ben Johnson. I'm like, what? That's kind of soon. But let's take a look at what was kind of said because I kind of dug deep, deeper than what the article on Lions Wire said because it was an actual article that was quoted on there by national NFL writer and analyst Jason Lockenfora. Now, he wrote an article over there on Washington Post about the buzz around the NFL on how good of a coach the 36-year-old first-year offensive coordinator Ben Johnson is and how he could be considered for an open head coaching position this year. Oh, hell no. And here is the deal. It's not coming from national buzz. He's getting word of mouth buzz around coaching circles, just how good he is. The young uh, offensive coordinator, they're talking about what he's doing, his route concepts, the blocking concepts he has in the running game. They're saying that he is doing an excellent job. Now, he did. He not, he's now getting some national buzz because of how the Lions played on Thanksgiving. You know, that was his national coming out party. The Lions offense performance on Thanksgiving is helping his cause because they went toe-to-toe with a Super Bowl contender and only lost on a last-second field goal. The offense, they went toe-to-toe with Buffalo. Uh, even though we know if they had their starting secondary, we know we had they missed some of their edge rushers, but that interior uh, defensive line was intact for the Buffalo Bills, but they went toe-to-toe with those cats. Now, I think it, myself, I do. I agree with you, Coach Jones. I think it's a little early for head coaching buzz for this young fella. But here's who they're comparing what the Lions offense is looking like. They're comparing his scheme to Mike McDaniels down there in Miami or what Sean McVay's system looks like out in L.A. with the type of raw concepts and the ingenuity that he puts into his offense. So, But, again, I say it's still a little early for me. I say let him win some key games in Detroit before we crown him the next big thing in the NFL because – how are you the next big coaching head coaching buzz, but you ain't won nothing. Your team hasn't won anything yet. And this is your first year being a, a offensive coordinator. Now he has proved to be a, what do you call that? An innovator in the offense because he was the big reason why the office changed last year for the Detroit lions. And, you know, he went from that uh, passing game coordinator to tight end coach. And he really changed how the lions offense looked last year. And he's putting his footprint all over the Lions offense this year. And they're ranking a lot higher than they did last year, especially in the run game. You look how we're, how high we're rated in the run game this year. I'm liking what Ben Johnson is doing. But I would like to see some more W's before I say, hey, man, you the next big thing. and We should offer you a head coaching position. All right, LL, what you got, man? Head coaching buzz for Ben Johnson. Oh, um, good for him, man. He's doing a good job. I don't know, though. And that's um I, on th- on Thanksgiving Day. I forget which one of them said it, but they in so many words they basically said he's calling uh Sean McVay's offense. So I don't. Hopefully they wasn't doing that to discredit him. I don't know how accurate that is or whatever it is. So but I know you said he uses some elements from that offense. So yeah, whatever. Good good for Ben Johnson. No, I want him to stay around, but of course that's selfish of me. So you know whatever opportunity presents itself for him, go ahead and take it. But um and not to cast any uh, uh, shadow of doubt on him. But, you know, our people, lots of people get named offensive geniuses or whatever in the hell. You look out in Oakland or uh, in Las Vegas mm-hmm. and things like that, and it's like, what the hell is going on? But, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's a games. lot of people. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, but people people, people figure that he's going to get things figured out. But shout out to Ben Johnson. He's doing a great job here. Turn around the offensive um, – or turn around the uh, run game. Him and uh, our guy – well, my guy, Frank – Haley, right? I make sure I'm saying it right this time. Hank, I'm Hank Fraley. Hank Fraley. Hank Fraley. <laughs> Hank Fraley. My apologies, <laughs> Hank Fraley. Um, but yeah, him and him and Hank Fraley. So, but I don't, yeah. you know, I want I want them two to stay around because I feel like if he go, then he gonna bring Hank Fraley with him. And uh, you know, yeah. What you got? What you got? Uh, War um, the Lion. Yeah, man. Uh, you know what? I mean, I understand why because everybody in the NFL is looking for the next hot, next best thing, new hottest best thing. Getting young, innovative coordinators is is what is going. Pump it breaks, though, man. Um, pump it breaks because uh, Ben Johnson. You know what? 
you look at Nick Sirianni and, you know, he did get that job with him, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, but, you know, with Ben Johnson, uh, I don't even know what his contract is. Um, mm, I, I was trying good. to find where, where this contract is, man. But, um, man, I just – it's premature. It's premature. You know, he had – he did he has had success, and I will admit that the Lions offense – in that Thanksgiving game on the big stage looked more fluent. It looked more, it looked like there was less negative plays than usual uh, coming from Detroit. You know, a lot of times on national stage, we go through dry spells or we just don't do nothing right. And it looked like it was, he was calling a good game, man, a good game plan was put together. So, um, you know, I, I understand where it's coming from, but at the same time, man, y'all need to pump your brakes, man, and, and leave our coaches alone. How can every time a coach do something good in Detroit, all of a sudden he in the national spotlight and, and everybody want to know about him? <laughs> like, leave us back. Can we have something, please? Can can we build? Can we have something? We're just trying to build. We just want something. Uh-huh. Yeah, we can never have nothing nice. Hey, to check out the rest of this conversation, tune in to today's Lunchtime Detroit Lions Talk, the rest of the video. Just click back of two videos and you'll get the full show and you'll see what LL and Coach Mike had to say about this topic on your home for Detroit Lions news and rumors.